Hey YouTube, this is Sextafire, and this is another Visual Basics.net tutorial. Uh, this is tutorial number 18, and today I'm going to be showing you how to click a button without an ID on a website. And as I promised, I was going to do this tutorial for my last tutorial, which was how to click a button with an ID. So, this is quite different to, from, well, it's, it's different but similar in different ways from the last tutorial. So first of all, just start a form, uh, add a web browser and a button, and then double click on the form, and add webbrowser1.navigate, facebook.com slash login.php, um, and then put webbrowser1.scriptarrorsuppressed equals true to prevent any errors, and then double click on the button, and put, this is the code, well this is the code that uh, clicks the button, uh, put dim all elements as HTML collection equals web browser one dot document at all. Which basically, it just gets all the elements on the page web page, and then for each web page element as HTML element in all elements, and then if web page element dot get attribute is value, which the value is the value of the button uh, that doesn't have an ID. Well, some buttons have an IDs and values, but um, this is the value of the button, and then the name, login, the name of the button, and then web page element that invoke member click, which clicks the button. And right here, you can put anything you want in this blank area. Right here, I'll get I'll get back to that later. And so yeah, how you get this value right here is just go to facebook.com slash login.php uh, it looks best on google chrome just right click on the login button inspect element and then it should be right here In input value login so login right the value right here is this right here and then login value is this right here and so when you start it up it's gonna go to that web page there looks the same there is a login button right there so if it's login button down here it clicks it and it says incorrect username so I didn't put anything in there and it clicked that button um, so yeah, it's pretty simple, but, so now when I go back to right here, as I said, blank space, you can add anything you want. I'm just going to put message box dot show and then put text, click a button without an ID right here. It's basically now, now when you start it, it's going to, um, show that message box. Right here, click a button on D before it clicks it. So now you click OK, then it clicks the button. See? Incorrect username. So this is a pretty simple code uh, tutorial on visualbasis.net and how to click a button without an ID. Uh, this code and prod, this exact same project will be available on sourcecodedirect.com, which will be in the description. The website, and um, just don't forget to rate, comment, and to subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is Extafire signing out.